stabilized chlorine versus unstabilized chlorine. What is the difference between these? I mean, other than the obvious. So stabilized chlorine simply means that there is, in addition to the chlorine, there is also cyanuric acid in this product. And cyanuric acid is the catchphrase is sunscreen for chlorine. We keep cyanuric acid at 30 to 50 parts per million in swimming pools in order to help protect the pool against the damaging effects from the sun. If you had no stabilizer or no CYA in your swimming pool at all, you would be unable to maintain your chlorine levels. Your, the chlorine would just get dissipated every day from the damaging effects of the sun. So that's why you maintain stabilizer in your pool at 30 to 50 parts per million. The stabilizer is called cyanuric acid. Um, so that is what you're getting in a stabilized chlorine product is you're getting both the chlorine plus some stabilizers, some cyanuric acid. Every time you add that chlorine product to the pool, the cyanuric acid level goes up. That is a very serious concern because cyanuric acid is very hard to get rid of. If you have a level which is too high, which is definitely problematic, it's hard to lower it. The three ways to lower it are a mobile reverse osmosis truck comes to your house and treats your pool at great expense to you. You can use an enzyme product, a chemical, which will do an okay job at reducing a little bit of your cyanuric acid level, sometimes kind of. That was me being sarcastic and saying that this product doesn't work super well. So that's not really a great option either. The third option, the option that has always existed for how you lower your cyanuric acid levels when they're too high, you have to partially drain and refill your pool with fresh, clean water. And that's not ideal. Some people have severe water restrictions and they can't drain and refill their pool with it when they want. Some people don't want to incur the cost. Some swimming pools you can't drain because they could potentially break or have some sort of problem. So you can see why having too much cyanuric acid in your pool, well, that could be a bad thing. And if you're using stabilized chlorine only as your main source of chlorine for the pool, you are constantly adding more and more cyanuric acid to the pool. And you should probably consider switching over to an unstabilized chlorine product for your day-to-day -day chlorine maintenance. I'll give you an example. Liquid chlorine is a great unstabilized chlorine option. You buy a couple jugs of it, you pour some into your pool a few times a week, that's all you need to do. And that completely eliminates the problem of adding too much cyanuric acid to your pool, which is what you're going to do if you only use stabilized chlorine products. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.